everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory 101 tutorial video. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are kind of working our way through the task book. Last episode, we did the build a second layer to your island below the level you started from. And that's how we got this nice little underground little part of our base. Now, this is a very, very standard thing uh, to do in most Skyblock packs, especially ones that give you, you know, choices for automation. That is because this underground little layer here allows you to keep some of the ugly machinery and, you know, other things that you don't want sort of cluttering up your, your sort of main world up top. That's going to include things like machines and and most importantly, all of your really, really ugly pipes. Now, eventually you'll be able to unlock some wireless uh, options for transporting liquids and power and things like that. But right off the bat, you're probably going to want to start with some item cables. Now, we've got three different item cables to choose from in Sky Factory 1, all of which have some good and bad features about them. So my personal favorite in the Sky Factory 1 pack is going to be the item pipes. Now, they are a little bit on the expensive side. They are six iron ingots, one piece of redstone and two droppers and of course that dropper is going to require an extra piece of redstone as well so three pieces of redstone total six pieces of iron or six iron ingots that's a fairly expensive recipe but you do end up getting 16 item pipes from it now, the way that you're probably going to be using your pipes is that you're going to be connecting one storage system to another storage system, whether that is from one machine to another machine or one chest to another chest or a chest to a machine or vice versa. To use the pipes, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a connection between one and the other. Now, one thing that I should mention here is that not everything is compatible with the different types of pipes. Certain pipes may work with certain machines and not other machines, and certain machines may work with certain pipes but not other pipes. So you may have to do a little bit of playing around with them to get the pipes that actually work for what you're trying to do. If the pipes don't work, oftentimes there's a little bit of a visual clue where the pipes don't make any connection. Sometimes, though, the pipes don't seem to be making a connection, but there's actually a connection there. In this case, the chests are actually smaller than a full block. So it just kind of hovers right here. It's kind of hard to tell that it's making a connection, but this one totally is making a connection between the two different storages. Though, if I open up this chest here, you can see this nothing is getting pushed into this chest. That is because we have not told the item pipes from the pipes mod which side we want to pull from and which side we want to push to. To do that, what we're going to need is a wrench. Now, there's a couple of different wrenches in the pack. I like the pipes wrench because it is very, very cheap and it does work with a bunch of other different mods. To make the pipe wrench, it is two flint and two sticks in that hammer shape. So because we want to pull from the storage drawer, we're going to go shift, right click on the top half of the pipe. You can see there is three different parts. We've got a top part, a full part, sort of a middle, and then we've got a bottom part. If we go and right click on the top part, you see it kind of makes a little bit of a ring around it. And we open up that chest, you can see it is now pulling items in. Now the item pipes from the pipes mod full, pull about four items uh, every tick, which is fairly quick depending on what you're trying to pull. But compared to some of the other pipes, it's probably not our quickest form of transportation. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the cyclic item cables. Now these are probably the cheapest pipes in the pack. To make the cyclic cables, they are four brick stairs and four iron nuggets. So iron is very, very cheap and there's zero redstone used in this uh, recipe. Though at the end of the day, we only get eight of those cables uh, for that one recipe. Now to use these cables, they are very, very similar to the pipes one. We first just got to make a little bit of a connection between the two. Like I said before, sometimes it looks like it's connected, sometimes it doesn't. This is a good valid connection when it's going to a storage chest. But like the uh, pipes cables, we do have to tell it which side is the pull side. So this is the downside to the cyclic cables. If I go and do a very similar thing to what I did before, and that is to right click on the very, very top there, it actually pulls it out to the side. If we click it again, you see it turns yellow. That means nothing is going to go or nothing's going to make a connection there. And we click it once more and it goes back to where it was before. How we need to make this connection is that we're going to actually have to get above that particular pipe. Now, this is going to be the same as if you're coming up from below. You may have to get below the pipe. If you're getting up above or to the side, you're going to have to be on, you're going to have to be looking at the part that you want it to be pulling from. So from here, we can actually see that pipe there. 
We're going to go click that. I'm going to come down here really quickly because this is a very, very quick pipe. You see that filled that up almost instantaneously. And what we could actually do is we got to be careful because you can see it is yellow now and we're going to have a tough time making that, uh, you know, not yellow. So our best bet here is to break it and then replace it. And just so we can kind of see just how quick this is, what we're going to do is we're going to go click the bottom of this. Now you got to be careful using the wrench and the shift. If I shift click this, it actually breaks it for us. So that's something we got to be careful of. We just got to do a regular standing right click. There we go. We open up that super, super fast pipe, amazingly quick pipe, which is a big, big plus. But it's also a little bit hard to work with, especially when you're, you're configuring your inputs and your outputs. One other thing to keep in mind with these pipes is they actually act as a storage as well. So you can see there's a little bit of cobblestone left over here. It's not pulling up. That is because this storage drawer is completely full. If I go and break this pipe, you see that we actually drop some cobblestone. So it was storing cobblestone in the pipe between the chest and the storage drawer. So that is the cyclic pipes. The last pipe I want to look at this episode is going to be the refined pipes basic item pipe. Now, one of the good things about this pipe is that it is upgradable. There are three different versions of the pipe. Each pipe does increase the speed. So the tier one pipe does 100% speed. The tier two pipe does 166% speed. And then the tier three pipe does 200% speed. To make these pipes, it is six iron and three glass. And very, very similar to the other ones, what we got to do is we got to make a connection from the top to the bottom. Now, where the other pipes required us to use a wrench to pick the input spot, the refined pipes actually require something called an extractor attachment. Again, there are multiple different tiers of the extractor attachment. The tier one does eight items every three seconds or it does 100 millibuckets every zero seconds. Now, unlike the pipes, there are actually five upgrades of them. We've got a tier two, a tier three, a tier four, and a tier five. Now, the tier five does a stack of items every half a second and three, a little over three buckets every zero seconds. It also allows you to filter items in and out, whereas the basic one does not allow filtering. To make a basic extractor attachment, though, it is going to be five iron ingots and one piston. And then to get this to work, we need the pipes in our world. And then we actually have to place them up at the top of uh, the pipe here. So you see, there's a little bit of an outline wherever I'm kind of pointing it. That's going to tell us, you know, basically where this is, this attachment's going to go. I need it to be right up at the top. And you see, as soon as I click on it, it actually starts physically pulling you know, items through the pipe, which is kind of cool visually. But the tier one is not as quick as the item pipes, and it's certainly not as quick as the cyclic pipes. But like I said before, these are both upgradable in the pipe and in the actual extractor. Keeping in mind that you can upgrade one and not the other. So we could use a tier one extractor with a tier three pipe. The tier three pipe will pull things through quicker, but the extractor is only going to push them out as quick as the extractor does. Same thing, we could put a quicker extractor on it. It's going to push items out quicker, but they're still going to move through the pipes just as slow. So on a short little distance one like this, your pipe speed's not going to matter that much, but over a long distance, a quicker pipe speed's definitely going to, you know, increase the, you know, the amount of uh, items you get to your chest where the extractor is mainly concerned with pulling items out of the one storage and pushing them into another. Now, all three of these are valid choices. You basically got to pick which one works for your system and which one works for the machines that you've got. It may be worthwhile having a couple on hand uh, just to sort of test new machines out and see, you know, kind of which one work with what you're trying to do. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There'll be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi, as well to be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good. Bye. Oh, don't want to break the roof.